another video for Red Devil Studio. And today, um, it's an interesting one, actually. United versus Sega, um, two, two, uh, two organizations that I, I love really much and, and are really close to my heart, going at it um, over Football Manager. This is coming from The Guardian, but this has been reported in a lot of uh, media outlets, especially games websites. And there's been some confrontation between Manchester United. They are... Um, suing the football manager makers, obviously that's one of the studios that works on the circus simulation game. Everyone knows the football manager which is over the use of the name. So let's just get into the article right now. Before we actually get into it, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, UnitedX. Smash the notification button for latest maintenance news. And also get involved in the comment section below as well to let you know what content you want on this channel to get it going forward. So, yeah, let's just quickly just look at because so as it says, Manchester United sues football manager makers over use of name. The Premier Club alleged that its trademark is infringed in simulation video game. So let's quickly look at, so Manchester United is suing the makers of the football manager series for allegedly infringing its trademark by using the club's name extensively throughout the game. English Premier League Club by United has taken legal action against Sega Publishing and Sports Interact. That's the company that make football manager. Um, the club also argues that Sega and SI have infringed its trademark over its logo by not using the official Manchester United crest in the game, instead replacing the club crest with a simplified red and white striped logo. United claims this deprives the registered property of its right to have the club crest licensed. Sega and SI say that the use of the club's name is a legitimate reference to the Manchester United football, football team in a football context and has been used in Football Manager and its predecessor Championship Manager since 1992 without complaint by the claimant. The companies have accused the club of trying to prevent legitimate competition in the video games field by preventing parties not licensed by the claimant from using their Manchester United football team within such games. Essentially, Sega's, essentially Sega's argument is that, you know, um, it's, 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 United are stifling the competition in the video game market by saying the likes of, for example, um, Konami with Pro Evo can use the game because they've got the official United license, but other companies can't. Um, that's, it seems to be at least what they say. I think um, FIFA have still got the naming rights to Manchester United, which is why they can still use it in the FIFA game, but not other things because you have naming rights, image rights, etc. Um, at a preliminary remote hearing on Friday, Manchester United barrister Simon Malzig QC said the name Manchester United is one of the world's most valuable and recognized brands. He said the money clubs made from licensing their names and logos was very significant, and the products and services that are licensed by the claimant benefit from an association with the club's winning culture and its brand values. Malinkson's agreed in relation to the alleged infringement of the trademark on United's logo that consumers expect to see the club crest next to the name Manchester United, and its failure to do so amounts to wrongful use. He, he did, however, accept the argument was somewhat novel and certainly in the cons of video games, but it's certainly arguable. The barrister then asked, sorry, it's going to, but I just thought it'd be good to go for this whole article. The barrister then asked Mr. Justice Morgan to allow the club to amend its claim against Sigma so to include allegations involving the practice of supplying patches or mods, essentially downloadable files containing replica trademarks, which consumers then incorporate into the game. So basically, I think, from what I understand by that, it seems to say that um, there isn't an issue so much with it now, but much like I mean, you could argue this is this, you could argue Pez does this, um, but essentially, Sega there are patches or mods that individuals can basically download into into you know the pieces stuff of that and get the trademarks and logos. So from that point of view, um, I can understand why Sega might be frustrated. So you know when I play Pez, for example. I patched it in a way so that the trademarks are there. So in theory, um, you could argue that um, the likes of the non, the likes of you know uh, Liverpool, and other teams that don't have licenses in pairs could sue Konami. But um, it is what it is. Um, uh, yeah, and of course, the direct benefit would avoid the need to take any license and join increased sales of the game. Roger Ray Q represent defendants who opposed the club's application to amend the claim in their written defense. This is Sego obviously saying, um, Sego said the claimant has acquiesced in the use by the defendant of the name Manchester United football team under game and cannot now complain of such use. In, in other words, they were happy with it before. Why are they now complaining 
with it, play, uh, complaining about it now. Wayward argued the simplified club badge using the game was one of 14 generic logo templates that is randomly chosen by the football manager game engine each time a new game is started and clearly indicates that the use of the logo of Manchester United is not licensed by the claimants, which is true. Sergen Essay said preventing them using Manchester United's name would amount to an unreasonable restraint on the rights to freedom of expression to restrain the use of the words Manchester United to refer to a team in a computer game. Wayward pointed out that copies of the game have also been sent by SI to a number of officials and players at the club for a number of years, and there have been a number of positive press comments and tweets about the game by them. He added, further, the claimant staff working in the data analysis and scouting teams are contacted SI on versus claim asking for access to the data pay for scouting and research purposes. The current claim is no likelihood of confusion or damage to the claimant's e trademarks caused by the trips and so on, and there'll be a judgment according accordingly. So that's basically the whole article, basically, um, with just a brief kind of um, overview about it. But it is very interesting. Um, in summary, United feel that um, Sports Interactive and Sega are using the name Manchester United and not paying them dividends um, for it, and that they feel that Manchester United um, is associated with the team. Sports Interact say, well, hang on a minute. We've used it before. You've had no issues with it before. And also your club has contacted us to use the data for scouting for scouting purposes. And also, um, you know, we, you know, we it, it's it's it should be from expression. The term Manchester United should not be a trademarked um something that should be should be just be trademarked. Um, it should be used by by any can be used by anyone, freedom of expression, etc. That seems to be second size argument. And let me know who you think. Let me know which which side you think is 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 right or wrong. Um, I'm curious. I mean, I I said I have issues with the way that both companies are run in terms of leadership, but I love what the both companies have produced, i.e., Manchester United Football Club and Sega with its multiple franchises like Sonic and Yakuza and so on. Um, so the way that I sort of see this, the way that I sort of see it is that um I think my my logic, I think, says that clearly Sports Interactive are using other teams as well. So unless I feel that Sports Interactive and Sega will win this, unless other teams, other football clubs do the same thing. And the only thing that I can think of that would trigger this whole thing is just the fact that um, um, Manchester United are losing a lot of money, and a lot of debt, and they feel this will be a, a quick way um, to make some some money on the side. That's the only thing I can think of, um, amongst other things. But yeah, that's the news. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, do you think who's right, United or Sega? You know, Sonic or Lingard? <laughs> um, let me know. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we are X, and smash the notification button for latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers. <laughs>